Hi, everybody. How are you? I'm back. <laughs> How you doing? Not welcome to Both Sides Now Beyond. Um, Kelly is not here tonight because I forced her to take some time off because Kelly was overdoing things like we all do. But, uh, you know, astrologically, as you know, each week she talks about what's happening and stuff. And uh, I said to her one day, Kelly, I think you're doing, too, you're doing too many readings and she's a giver, 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 as you know. So, you know, let, let me just do the show and take some time to rest. So she is. So I, would, I, so I won't do the show unless she rests. <laughs> so I had to force her. But uh, so I thought tonight we'd do a special, if you didn't hear about it, a special night. I know I've been away for two weeks. We've both been away. And um, I've been in puppy land and I've been uh, running around with them. I just actually came to the, the house to that side because it was, um, they just entered doggy daycare because I thought I was going to go crazy with puppies. I didn't know what I was getting into. So let's say hello to Lisa. Hi, Lisa Dapp. Lisa Williams Hicks, hello. Not to be mixed with Lisa Williams, different. Danelle Plummer, hello, how are you, Pearl? Nice. We have a lot of information to go through, a lot of stuff to catch up on, a lot of news been happening, so we'll talk about all that stuff. Sarah Stone, hello. Al Mahoney, hello. Carol Ann, hello. A lot of you, welcome back, and thank you very much for staying uh, with me. It's, it's you know, not easy getting everything together right now, as a lot of you know, it's been very, it's been a difficult time, tough time. A uh, full moon, I'm not Kelly, so I can't tell you astrology, but I know a full moon is Sunday, and there's... Uh, a, a, it was opposing Mars, which is the planet of battles, confrontations. There's a conflict there immediately. Major stuff there, and it's major transformational stuff. It really is. So I would not be a bit surprised if there are a lot of people that changed in life. A lot of people leaving. The queen is gone. Um, and another queen in my world, Mavis Patilla, has passed over, who was a queen in the mediumship world. I'm writing a little memorial right now for, uh, about her. And she very much reminded me of the aspects of the queen has had and um you check maybe still out on youtube and you'll see it's very, very dignified lady so her birthday's coming up the 15th and she's come through already so it's been it's, it's been very interesting uh marie bushan hi marie love night i remember you yes hi scott good evening september's a tough month yeah I, 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 yeah, September's a tough month. Hi, James. Uh, yes. Wow. Hello, Caroline Marshall. Good to see you. <laughs> yes, Mavis passed away about two, two weeks ago. And uh, yes, I'm just reliving memories uh, with her about her and things we've done together. And uh, it's fun reliving them. So yeah, her birthday's coming the 15th. So tonight, a, a celebration of just this, I thought I'd, we'd have dinner together because I thought we'd do something special. So I invited people to have their dinners with me this afternoon on, on my soul care show that tonight we're going to have dinner. <laughs> Funny to dinner. So we're having dinner here. <laughs> now I'm not a vegetarian. I'd like to be, but I think I need meat. So I have a steak and I have pasta, a risotto, a vegetable risotto. <laughs> I've never done this before. So I thought this would be a great opportunity. And I thought I would accompany it with a special glass of wine. Look at I bought these glasses back in New York probably 25 years ago. I've used my twice. So that's going to be the third time. <laughs> and um, my ginger ale. So if you have dinner with you or lunch or breakfast, wherever you are in the world, please feel free. I'll be eating with you. <laughs> so I don't need to play, but it's supper time. Um, so a lot's been going on, as we know. And the Queen's uh, passing was interesting, wasn't it? That two days before she was welcoming the prime minister at the last photo op picture. And then she went two days after that. And I'm just not sure about her past. I don't know. I think, I think that the, uh, I think her passing was very dignified. Like she was, is, and um, I don't know what, you know, what really what she passed with, but um, I got to say what a dignified life. And, and my name was the same thing. And uh, we lost Janet in a havoc. What, about a month ago, a month and a half ago, it was a medium from New Jersey I worked with a lot. A lot of time, a lot of portals, a lot of things moving and very much transforming. And this is a good time to remain centered and grounded. In, and I, I said this today on my show, it's all care. When these situations or challenges, whatever you want to say to them, opportunities, they're all opportunities. It's a great time to stop, take a breath, and just become aware of what's happening. Don't have a knee-jerk reaction. Just, okay, what's going on? What's happening here? Why, what am I learning from this opportunity? What is different now about this situation, about myself, about this world I'm living in? Then don't try to judge it. Just be aware of it. Be mindful of it. That's the best thing that I've tried. And it works. And, and the more you do it, the 
better you get at that and putting yourself in a good mindset, if you will, healthier mindset as well. And you realize when you're there that there are all different types of souls out there on this earth. It definitely is a school here and there are different levels and, and the grades understanding there are uh, baby souls who think money and greed and power is the way it should, and ego is the way it should be. And they have like postgraduate souls who are healers and light workers. And you have the middle grade, you know, souls too, trying to figure things out too. So lots of that creates lots of dynamic opportunities for people. And the best way to understand all that is to know yourself. My grandmother used to say to me, and she reminded a lot of Mavis and also the Queen of Leonardo, she was from England. She was, used to say to me as a little boy, and she used to love Shakespeare. She used to quote Shakespeare quite a bit. And she was a, a farm girl, a country girl from south of Wales, actually. And she used to say, to thy own self be true. And it's from a Shakespeare quote. And uh, I remembered that very distinctly, very, very much. And it's helped me throughout my life. And I know what it means now. I think when you really know who you are, life is easier because no one can throw you. And how do you get to know who you are? By taking the time to listen to your stillness of your soul. There you go. Come have a bite to eat now. And I'll answer some questions. Good. So good to see you. Thank you, Tommy. That Tammy. Tammy, my, my eyes haven't changed. Although I do think my eyes have not changed, but it's funny. I was at a, I was, uh, oh, I went to San Jose. That's what I want to tell you guys. I was at Winchester Mystery House last week. I went there to celebrate, celebrate, I guess you'd say, uh, the hundredth anniversary of Sarah Winchester's passing. And I did two tours in the house and also two seances. And then really, really well. And Sarah was the personality. Sarah was there, no doubt about it. And she kept on talking about the furniture in the room we were in. And she kept on saying, this wasn't here, that wasn't here. And this was different. And it's true because they staged that house. And she talked about the chairs that she used to have there. She talked about a piano used to be there. And she also, she was, it was very fun. And she was, again, another dignified lady. So that's very interesting. Sarah Winchester. So everybody that went to that last week, I want to thank you because a lot of people here that are on the, on the computer here that are uh, on this show and also and see me on Monday at uh, Soul Care, you've attended a lot of you and a lot of my students. So thank you everybody for those who came from my school and come here. Hi, Susie Everett from Thousand Oaks. How's the weather? It's, it's cooled down a little bit. You guys have been very, very hot in California. Really hot for us. I'm in San Diego, and I've never experienced the heat, actually, in California. I've been in California close to 35 years, maybe, 30-something years. I've never experienced the heat like we've had here and the humidity, which we're not used to. I feel like I was back in New York. So if you want to ask questions, you can, and I'll start um, enjoying my appetizer, which is actually my supper my dinner with you. Uh, okay, let's see. Witchy Elizabeth. Hi, Witchy Elizabeth. Michelle Lee. Well, a lot of people come in and send my friend requests. How to get an aura reading love. <clears throat> I don't know what that means, but <laughs> I do readings uh, once a month. I do. Uh, it's on Zooms like this. And I do what's called a demonstration. I demonstrate evidence of life after death. And uh, it's the people have asked the veil getting thinner and thinner. Well, yes, around harvest time, fall time, there seems to be a closeness between the worlds. And there, the I, I did, oh, I also was Gordon Smith was here. So I worked with the medium Gordon Smith in Scotland, my brother from another mother, and we wore kilts. And it was an incredible demonstration, probably one of the best I've ever done. And, and he was just incredible. He's a, a great partner there to work with. And uh, we're going to uh, do some more stuff together. So that was fun. I did that as well. And I did a workshop. And now in October, it's very busy because Lynn Probert from England, my friend Lynn Probert, is coming over to do a five-day workshop with me in here in, in Carlsbad, actually, California, for five days. And we're going to do also a demonstration. So that's on my website if you want to go to that. Lynn's great. I'm going to say the New York thing. She's a pisser and a half, which means it's fine. <laughs> Okay, if you have a question, um, yes. It's Donna, I don't do readings here, Donna Matters. I'm not doing readings on this. I do readings on a, a night of, it's on the website of when that happens. It's a demonstration, the Evening of Spirit, it's called. So that's the night I do the readings for. This is really just an informal gathering of people, and we talk about all different types of situations, life experiences, and different topics. So um, that's what I'm going to do. Um, 
and there's a miracle vase. They think, a lot of people coming in quickly, so we're going to try to get this and help right now. Yeah. Hi, James. I was wondering if you could speak a bit more about pendulum use. I use it for dream interpretation, and it's been great, but sometimes the energy seems often and clear. I believe that it's our higher self coming through, but others believe other energies can come through. Also, would you recommend talking to loved ones through the pendulum use? Oh, got it, Renee. Thank you. Poor Renee is scrolling through everything. Could you share your thoughts and guidance? Thank you. Sure, Mir, I will. And again, this is my experience with pendulums and uh, as limited as it is, because I'm not, uh, it, it, it's a tool. It's a divine tool, divining tool, which is tuning into the knowingness in ourselves. Um, I would, I, 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 I used it many, maybe 10, 11, 10, 20 times. I don't know. I, I I, I think pendulum is fine if you're really aware there's a certain way to hold it, put it over the finger and first you'd establish your yes or no answers. It's like the Ouija board. And it's just really, that's the way I would do it. I don't like to use it personally because I think the conscious mind gets in the way. I really think the conscious mind gets in the way. I would rather do it through my own feelings and clairsentience, which is your knowingness, your intuition. Intuition is a voice of the soul. So it's learning to speak with that soul. Um, but I, it's a tool, just like a crystal ball is a tool, uh, scrying water, looking at water, uh, holding an object, which is psychometry, that's tuning to the energy of the object. So sometimes I think it's just, it's us getting out of the way, I think that that's talking to us, but I think it's just our own intuition talk, speaking to us. So there are different ways in, different methods, if you will, depending on who you are and your skill set as well. Um, but try different things out, just don't stick to a pendulum. I try the Ouija board as well. The Ouija board is a great tool as well. Um, so is um, astrology. So is uh, aura reading. There's all different types of tuning in. It's always the intention behind it. So people think the Ouija board, ooh, it's evil, it's scary. Not necessarily. That's what you've heard and uh, religious backgrounds. But everything done with an intention behind it should be of, of love and the highest vibration, and you'll be fine. But if used wrongly as anything in life, it can be detrimental. Anything in life, even words that we say, even thoughts that we have can be detrimental. You might not see how they can cut. Thoughts can cut and hurt people, but they do and constantly. And just think of all the thoughts that are out there. Now, there's a war going on right now in, in Ukraine, as you know. That's bad because killing people, bad. We're not here to kill people. We're here to just the opposite, to bring people up and help them grow and expand, not to destroy life, but encourage life. So anything that destroys life is bad. So remember, it's all about love. It's all life is, is love. Life, life, life like love, as David would say, continues on. And fear is a human emotion. It's not of the spirit. It's totally of human. So fear is F-E-A-R, false ego appearing real. Remember that one. Thank you, everybody, and uh, please uh, stay healthy and happy and loving. Talk to you next week. Bye-bye. You've been listening to Both Sides Now and Beyond, featuring spiritual medium and master teacher James Van Prague and spiritual medium and psychotherapist Kelly White. That was great. Maybe we changed some lives. And maybe opened up some minds. Which way do I turn? Uh, right. Uh, I, I mean, left. <laughs> Show.